Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So let's make a side dish for our Thanksgiving feast, okay? I'm on my um, two month uh, cooking for Thanksgiving and by the way if you want me to cook something that you would like to know how to make you can just comment to me and I'll add that on the list and I'll make that for you okay or at least I will attempt to make that for you how about that okay all right so today the star of the day is squash so I'm gonna be uh, making like a squash I'm gonna call it squash medley it's a combination of uh, portabella mushrooms and I got uh, diced tomatoes, onions, and uh, some chives to go with it. And so we're going to uh, cook us a vegetable medley dish like that to go along with our feast. Because after all, you got to have your vegetables, right? Okay, so let's do it. Thank you. Thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe. Check out my links below. Thank you. Okay, let's add some olive oil. One, two, three. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. One second. Okay, so I just want to show you how much oil I put in. You can see down there, okay? So I'm going to start out with uh, sauteing the onions so I want to get the onions a two minute start and then I'm going to add the um, squash and the mushrooms and the tomatoes all together okay so let me get put the top on it and let's give the onions a two minute start Squash is always something that you kind of wish you could have on like Thanksgiving and um, special dinners like that. It's something we may not cook that often, but when you cook it, it definitely brings back memories and that's what Thanksgiving is all about. Okay, so I'm going to give that two minutes. Okay, so our onions... I've been cooking for two minutes. All right. So now I want to add the squash. That that was two squash, butternut squash. A little bigger than this, not much. Okay. This is uh, the butternut squash I saved to show you. Okay, and now let's add our portabella mushrooms. That was about one, two, three, four, six this size. They're pretty big. Now we're going to add, uh, this is about a half a cup of diced tomatoes. I'm going to put some more olive oil on there. looking good. Okay, so now let's start with our seasoning. Garlic and herb.
black pepper. Some adobo. Now I'm going to add half of the chives I have here. And the other half I'm going to leave as a garnish. As a garnish. Add some more oil because I don't have any left in here. It has all evaporated or something. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more. Okay, I'm gonna put the top on it so that it can um, get some steam and uh, cook a little better that way. Okay, so while that's cooking, why don't I give you the word of the day? Thank you. The word of the day. The word of the day is control your temper. Do not let your temper control you. So your temper is part of you. It's uh, the way you think and how you react, right? So you can choose to uh, keep that uh, pressure inside. You can choose to uh, not react to things. So just remember, you need to control your temper because your temper is not in charge of you. You are. Control your temper. Now that's the word of the day. Okay, so I'm going to turn the fire down to a number four on my stove and I'm gonna let that cook slowly okay uh, so that um, I want the vegetables to be crunchy but not really soft all right so that's the point we were trying to get to so we're gonna just let that simmer a little bit and then I'll come back and check on it with you okay thank you Okay guys, let's check and see what's going on. Okay, when I push down on the squash, it's getting soft, but not too soft. It's still got some firmness in it, but you can definitely tell that it's getting soft. And the mushroom is definitely getting soft. So I think in another, I'm gonna give this another minute and then we're gonna be, I think that'll be done. Okay, and I'll taste it and see what I'm missing. So let me get my tasting <laughs> tool. <laughs> I'm only joking. Okay. Okay, so let me taste it. Now see what I'm missing. I need some more seasoning. So I'm going to sprinkle some more garlic, garlic and herb. But I'm going to cut the fire off because I don't want it to cook anymore. And some adobo. Okay, I 
I think that'll do it. Let me plate it up. Okay, guys, look at that. Bring that to the Thanksgiving table, would you? Yes. Love it. Now let me taste for you. And you see how I put the chives. I meant to show you this package. Chives. Okay, I just cut them up. And see how I put them on the top as a garnishment? You know, that really makes your dish stand out. So you should consider doing that. Alright, let me taste. Okay, here we go. Wow, that portadella mushroom, mm. said hello, I'm here, you know, when you bite into a mushroom, it's soft, but yet, um, you know it's there, it's, it's soft, but you acknowledge that it's there. Very good, very good. The whole flavor of everything is delicious. And did that, adding the, um, the mushrooms, the uh, tomatoes, the onions, it, and the chives, it all brought something to the table for that squash. Because normally squash is, it's okay, but you know, if you could get people more interested by adding the different colors and the different tastes, I think you, we could get them to like squash. Okay. Thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe. And remember, remember, comment to me what you would like for me to show you how to cook for your Thanksgiving meal. And I'll be happy to give it a shot. Okay. All right, love you. Check out my links below if you'd like to support this channel in any way. Talk to you soon.